learning how to code has been changing a lot over the years. And even in the short amount of time that I've been doing this, I've seen it change quite a bit. And what's funny is that I feel like I learned how to code at one of the best times. And I honestly think that learning how to code right now is even better than it's ever been before, even though some people might disagree with that because of the job market and the uncertainty with AI and everything that's been going on. I still think that it's a great time to learn how to code. And I honestly don't think there's been a better time to learn how to code. Now we have things like ChatGPT. We have tools like Copilot or Cursor that are basically writing the code for us. And when I think about like when I learned how to code, I had YouTube and I had the internet and I had a lot of online resources. But 20 years ago, there wasn't any of that. And you either had to go to college or you had to be really determined and learn how to do this stuff through books and possibly meeting people who were willing to teach you this stuff. It really was a lot more difficult. And as this stuff becomes easier, we're starting to see a lower barrier to entry, which I think is honestly a great thing. And it's just the way that this is evolving. We went from only being able to learn this stuff in classrooms to being able to sit in the comfort of our own home and doing it with an internet connection and a laptop. And there's so many resources out there. I mean, you can literally take classes from Harvard and MIT for free online. You can sign up for boot camps, which I'm not a big advocate of boot camps, but that's still an option. And then we have a lot of like self-paced learning. We have a lot of resources like YouTube. We have a lot of websites that we can learn from that will literally guide us and teach us everything we need to learn along the way in order for us to get good enough at this stuff to be able to get a job. We don't have to sit through college lectures that put us to sleep. We have so many interactive and gamified platforms and tools that teach us this stuff now that keep us engaged because our attention spans are dwindling and we need something that can actually entertain us while we learn. And we have that at our disposal now. Could you imagine having to only learn this stuff through college lectures and textbooks? Although you still have to do that to get a college degree, it's not our only option anymore. Also, college degrees are getting easier to get. You have online schools that are also self-paced with tools that you can use in order to get credits to get you to be able to complete your courses faster and get your degree sooner. There's schools like WGU and tools like study.com that can help you get a computer science degree in less than a year. And if you want to check out a really cool interactive online learning platform, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Scrimba. They recently just released version two of their platform, and it's really awesome. They have a screencast feature that I've never seen before on any other learning platform. And I can definitely say that they are changing the way that we learn how to code. It's extremely interactive and makes learning a lot of fun. Their scrims allow you to immediately start coding as you're following along with any of their tutorials. So the code that you see that's being shared during the videos is the code that you're going to be editing yourself. Besides their interactive active and engaging approach to learning, they also offer a lot of other features on their platform. You can use their templates to get up and running for your next project quickly, or if you just want to test out a programming language that you haven't used before. Scrimba is project-based learning and they include all of their projects in their project section. So if you're struggling with ideas for something that you want to build, or you want to just revisit something that you may have built in one of their tutorials, you can easily reference them all in one place. As part of their courses, they have some in-depth career paths that you can follow. Their career paths will guide you through everything that you need to learn in order to get job ready. They have a very generous free tier, but their pro plan offers so much for a very reasonable price. Also, they offer pricing parity, so depending on where you're at in the world, their pro plan will adjust based on your location. If you choose to go pro and sign up annually, you'll get six months for free which is basically 50% off. And if you use my link that'll be down in the description, you'll also get an extra 20% off when you sign up. So make sure you go check out Scrimba today. All right, let's get back to the video. I know a lot of people who are trying to learn how to code to get a job are probably worried about AI. And they're probably saying like, how can you say that all of this change is good when we have things like AI that are coming out and are gunning for our jobs and pretty soon there's not gonna be the need for programmers anymore. I don't wanna get into the topic of AI replacing programmers in this video, but I do wanna say AI is a tool that you should be embracing. I wish I had AI when I was learning how to code. If used correctly, AI can accelerate how fast you learn how to code. It can teach you concepts that you would have had a hard time finding more details about. If you're someone who's learning how to code, you should prioritize using AI to your advantage. When I was learning how to code, I didn't have it. And now as I'm using these AI tools, all I can think is like, man, I wish I had this when I was learning how to code. The truth is that like when I was learning how to code, I was still lucky enough to have the internet, have Google and have Stack Overflow and be able to to find the answer on my own. People before me had to figure all this stuff out with books, but now people who are learning how to code have AI. So you don't have to spend all of this extra time going out and trying to find the answer for something that you're trying to learn. You can literally ask all of these different tools to teach you these concepts that you otherwise would have had to go out of your way to go and learn. Now, when you have a question about something that you're learning how to code, 
you can get the answer right away. It saves you a bunch of time and it will accelerate your learning. And it'll help you learn faster and it'll help you be a better junior developer than the one that I was because there are so many things that AI can do to help you get better. You can use it as kind of a pseudo mentor or use it as a more experienced developer that can help you with specific problems that you're having and help you be able to understand concepts that you're struggling with. And if you were learning how to code, when I learned how to code, you would not have had this unless you went to meetups and you met experienced developers that you can sit down and ask and that were willing to give you their time when you had questions for them. Now you have this at your fingertips. Anybody has this and a lot of them are free. And if you sign up and pay for some of these tools, then you unlock even more features and you unlock smarter models that can problem solve better for you. Even though learning how to code is changing, AI is one of the reasons I think it's changing for the better. And I know there's gonna be people in the comments saying how you know we're becoming obsolete and it's gonna replace us, whatever. I'm not worried about that. I really do think that this is just another tool that we are gonna be using that is gonna help us be better at our jobs. And that's how you gotta think about it if you're learning how to code right now. That's part of the change that you need to be able to accept and embrace if you want to be a modern day self-taught developer or someone who's learning how to code. Use these tools to make you better and to learn faster. Another thing too is the fact that this is so accessible to so many people now because of the internet and because of all of these resources and because of all of these tools, anyone in the world is able to learn how to code. And I know that there's some places in the world that people still don't have laptops and it's still hard for them to learn, but the fact that they can still get access to these tools and a lot of tools now are becoming more cell phone friendly. And there's a lot of resources out there that are trying to include people from all over the world because we realize that there are people who are still having a hard time being able to learn these things because of the fact that they have limited resources. But the online digital resources and the global aspect of being able to learn how to code is spreading. And as time goes on, more and more people are gonna be able to learn how to code. And I think that's an awesome thing because it can improve so many people's lives it's going to create so much new innovation to countries and people who wouldn't have been able to learn this stuff. The fact that the landscape of learning how to code is changing like this and it's becoming a more global thing that's becoming more available to more people all across the world is a good thing. I think it'll create more innovation. I think it'll create more entrepreneurs. I think that it will give people who didn't have these opportunities a fighting chance to improve their lives in a way that they wouldn't have been able to do so before. And whether you like it or not, that is happening. And I personally think it's awesome. And I love that that's one of the ways that this whole learning to code thing is changing. And I think that's changed for the better. Also, there are so many online communities. There's so many different ways for people to collaborate. There's open source projects and there's Discord servers and there's social media platforms that have large groups of programmers and developers that all wanna talk tech and discuss the latest and greatest thing and talk about this thing that so many people are now interested in. And it's changing changing the way that we communicate about this stuff. It's changing the way that we learn. It's changing the way that we collaborate. And it's kind of bringing the world together around a certain topic. And we weren't able to do this years ago. And ultimately that's all changing the way that we learn. And it does change the landscape of things. And it brings in people who weren't able to learn this stuff before or weren't interested in this stuff before. And even schools are starting to teach kids how to code at a young age. And it's just showing you that this is changing and this is evolving. And I honestly think that's a great thing because learning how to code was something that I really enjoyed doing. It's something that really got me interested in learning. For me, learning how to code was something that I never thought I'd be able to do. And now as I'm seeing more and more people become interested in this, as I'm seeing more and more younger people become interested in this, as I'm seeing more and more people across the globe start to become interested in this, it makes me excited to see what the future brings for software. We're gonna see so many new things get created. We're gonna see so much change in this industry. And I think all of it will ultimately be for the better. And if you're worried about the future, just remember that tech is always evolving. It's always changing. There's always new stuff to learn and you have to embrace that. You have to be able to go with the change and you have to be willing to learn the new tech that comes out. You have to be willing to change and improve over time because the developers that end up not 
succeeding in this field are the ones that refuse to learn and the ones that refuse to adapt. And if you accept the fact that learning to code is changing, and if you accept the fact that tech overall is changing, and you embrace that change, and you try to figure out how you can get in where you fit in with that change, then you're gonna grow in this industry, and you're still gonna be able to succeed and learn how to code and do all the things that you wanted to do when you set out to do this and embrace it because if you don't, you're just gonna get left behind. That's really all I wanted to say in this video. With all that said, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.